Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and today we are back with another community zoo tour. And in this episode, we're going to have a look at Natur Zoo Styamog made by Langzi or Langzi. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Thank you so much for sending your zoo to us for showcase on the channel. Really do appreciate it. I look very much forward to check this one out, but also I'm a little bit worried as the first time I opened the zoo, it crashed my whole computer. And um, I, I did let like the, the map run for like another half an hour or so after it crashed and, and then it didn't crash anymore after that. So yeah, let's hope it won't happen again during the tour of the zoo because for what I've seen, it definitely looks super promising and very beautiful. Uh, so we're, we're going to do the zoo tour, but I'm going to keep the game on pause mode just in case or just to prevent any more lag or whatsoever. And if you have a fitness zoo you would like me to check out on the channel as well, then please do make sure to read the description of this video of how you can send me your fitness zoo. And who knows, I might be able to check out your fitness zoo as well on the channel in the future. Now, without further talking, let's go and jump into Natur Zoo Styermark made by Langzi. And we're going to start right over here at this beautiful entrance area and like this, this backstage parking lot right over here. Thank you for your visit. You can now enjoy the zoo at night. Ah, oh, yeah. I did get a question of people. I like, I, I just can't do the tour at both daytime and nighttime. That's just not possible. But uh, the only thing I can do is to show you guys that there is a nighttime, like a lot of beautiful lights here. So that looks amazing, but we're not going to tour it at nighttime. If, if you dare to download the zoo, <laughs> then go ahead. You can find it in the description of this video and just go and walk around during nighttime. But we are going to tour the zoo at daytime, unfortunately. But this is already looking very, very beautiful. I absolutely love the shape of this entrance and like the materials that are used right over here. That looks amazing. We have an information center. Oh, look, even some ATMs. Oh, I love this. So you did download a few things. You didn't send me any billboards, did you? I don't think you did. But you did download like like some signs and backstage stuff and gift shop stuff, which is all mentioned also at the um, at your Steam Workshop page. Oh, it's a pity that we don't have any billboards. So yeah, if you uh, want to download those, you can you can find them very easily at the Steam Workshop page of this blueprint. But oh man, this already looks super impressive. I love it that there is a little uh, little car right over here with Cosmic Cow. Little seating area. Cafe house. Look how beautiful this looks. This is awesome. Wow, look at this. That's amazing. Yeah, as far as I can tell, there are no habitats downloaded. Uh, mo mostly more like feeders and those kind of things. Like these realistic type of feeders and stuff. Oh man, this is so good. I absolutely love it. I love this building. Is this like a flat roof? Yes, it is. I thought, wait, how? Is that like the biggest cla glass piece? Because I don't see any edges. Do we have that? Okay, now I want to see. Oh, it's that piece. Yeah, because you, you can't see any edge. This looks so beautiful. Wow, I'm so, so impressed by the shape of this building. Really gorgeous. Okay, wait. Um, so there should be like a like a way to go around the zoo. So we can hopefully don't mi not miss out on anything. Nice little seating area here as well. Oh man, I love the amount of space here. Yes, rune track. Rund rundweg. <laughs> Gosh, it's so hard when you speak English and then try to say something in, I think it's, it's all German. Okay, so the tour, look at this, how beautiful. We have some swans and ducks in here. 
I love the foliage work around here. That looks so gorgeous. Okay, we're just going to follow the path from here then. Really do love these signs. They are absolutely amazing. Oh, you have some raccoons right over here. Look at this. Look how beautiful it de it's decorated. Oh, look at a little one. Oh, this is really beautiful. Definitely very nice. Are these like mushrooms? Wait, do we have mushrooms? Since when do we have mushrooms? I totally forgot. Oh, it's probably from the Twilight Pack. Oh man, that is so cool. I absolutely love it. I really wish we could just go through this zoo without being on pause. Like, it's not even like the worst zoo I have got like in my mailbox with FPS, but I don't know why it crashed. You did mention something about like these reward statues. Like, let me know if, if the, the map would crash because that could be, but I never heard of that. Is that a thing? Like, re oh wow, look at this building. That's beautiful. Like that, that, like these reward statues could actually crash our game. Look at this. <gasps> look at this indoor area. Oh, there's so many of them. Oh, what a cool little area for them. Ah, oh, that looks really nice. There are so many inside here. <laughs> okay, this is a staff area. But you even paid attention to decorating that. Oh, look. This is the uh, the actual staff parking lot that you see from the entrance, which is right over here. Look how awesome this looks. Wait, are these just one, one piece? These are just the round painted beams. Are you kidding? That looks so good. I also like these, but these these could be from the Steam Workshop, like these backstage stuff. But they look really awesome. Look at this track right over here. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. This is looking really, really nice. Oh, <laughs> wrong way. Okay, we came from backstage. We go around here. The Robin Lagoon, I think that's a, that's a sea lion or seals. Look at this beautiful building. That looks so cool. I love the little details here with the blue on the floor. Look how cool. It really feels like a little beach with these, these, these seatings right over here and attire. Oh, that's so cool. I think these are seals. This looks so beautiful. Can we go around it? We can go here. Underwater viewing. Oh, you even have a path over there. But did we miss a doorway right over here? There's a door right over here where you can go to the underwater viewing gallery. There's a axolotl uh, uh, right over here. Look at this. I love how you use the statues here and like using green here on the walls. That looks beautiful. Oh, wow. Oh, that is a very, very beautiful underwater viewing. This is gorgeous. I love the little color contrast. I don't see many people using anything else and like just green plants for an underwater viewing gallery, but not sure what it is. I, I think it's supposed to be like corals or something. It works super well, but what is it? The aquatic faux rock tree branches in a different color. That is so freaking smart. Oh, I love that. That's so creative. And look how beautiful this all looks. I love it that you use like three different colors here. That it, it's like a very simple way to just make your walls look a lot more interesting. So that's like very inspiring. I never did that before, but I, I mostly use two colors, but three colors actually work super well as well. So this is the other side of the seal habitat. Look how beautiful this looks. There's so much food here. <laughs> Guys are not so hungry. Oh, maybe it's my sandbox settings. <laughs> Really beautiful habitat right over here. 
love the little awning, shade area, all the leaves on top of it. New food personnel, only for personnel, I guess. For staff. Okay, let's just uh, this little wall here. I love that. Okay, let's go down. Also, these walls are also very interesting. They look really nice. Okay, so we came from there. I, I guess this is the way to go. I hope. I actually don't know. It was like a dead end, wasn't it? I think so. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to assume that that is the case. Okay, then we have the Kapuzin Raffen House. Ah, Capuchin Monkey. Look how cool. Oh, this is a really nice looking interior. I love how you use all these materials to make a nice and warm interior. I really like this. Oh, and a beautiful indoor area as well. This is gorgeous. I love that you use a lot of the lighting or like daylight with the windows. Looks very nice. All the all the, the 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 props and decals and stuff around here to make it look a little bit more messy as well. I think you're one of the first doing that that we are seeing on the channel, and it, it does really work. Some nice signs here, and then we can go outside. Okay, so where are we going now? What is the best way? This is this is a souvenir shop. I kind of feel like this is the way to go for. But I could be completely wrong. I just don't see the tour sign anymore. The Pfauenplatz. Steira zu Rundweg. Okay, so the, the, the tour is going to the left. Is that an animal? Oh, there are pea files walking around here. Oh, here's one. Oh, this is a white one. I, I think for a glimpse in my eye, I thought it was a statue. <laughs> because it was white. Silly me. Some staff buildings right over here. What do we have here? Okay, we have some sides, but I guess we need to go to the left side. I so much love these statues, by the way. They're just so gorgeous. Okay, we have some shops on that side, some shops on this side, and some hay beddings right over here, or leaf beddings. Okay, so we go to the left side, the Tropenwald. Um, where shall we go? Okay, we need to do, go to the right side, but not here now? I guess this is where we will come back from. Little uh, shops here. Look, I love how spacious everything is. This path it, texture is actually also really nice. I always end up with like the, the asphalt ones and stuff, but I I actually really do like the vibe of this. So we have a kangaroo habitat. Not sure if it's the rat one or the wallaby. I think it's a wally bee, or is that a little baby? A rat kangaroo. Baby rat kangaroo. Look how beautiful this habitat looks. Super natural. Oh, don't forget to pause it. This is a very nice looking viewing gallery for them. What do we have here? Oh, there's an island. It's probably some kind of monkey or primate island. Some nice signs here, some zoo information. Look at this beautiful viewing gallery. Oh, it's going all the way around the island. Oh, that's so cool. So what do we have here? What kind of animal is it for? I can't see any sign of it. If we unpause this, do we see anything move? I don't think so. Oh, I love this as well, with the stones for the edge, that they're not able to climb up this way. 
That is looking so good. Oh, I'm sorry. Flipping through the walls here. This is very beautiful. Really like this viewing gallery, even though uh, like we can have a little look here. Can we see an animal, please? There's one. What do we have? No, that's a <laughs> grab ball. This is a mandrel habitat. Oh, wow. They even have an indoor area. Oh, there's that. We are going to see that from a, from a different angle. Okay, so we just go around here. Rundwach Mandro House. Okay, let's go to the Mandro House first. Really love the entrance here as well. That looks super neat. Oh, this is a very nice building. Look, there are some exhibits here as well to attract some more guests. I love how spacious it is. And that you try to give like different shapes to it instead of only the round ones. Still don't understand why we, after three years, don't have the round shape for any other building set than the plaster pieces. It annoys me as hell. <laughs> but that's just a side note. Oh, I love this also. It looks so beautiful. Are there like... Ah, oh, yes. We have some little fountains in there. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. Also notice all the lights right over here. This looks so pretty. I also love how you use these as decorations on the wall. Look at this. So beautiful. I'm going to deselect that for a bit. This looks really nice. Also love it that you try to like make a different shape here with the uh, with the glass roof. That looks super nice. All right, let's see. Gonna go around. Okay and follow this look at this with the beautiful tree here we have some nice shady areas for the guests as we are in a probably a tropical biome i think it was beautiful waterfalls right over here but now where do we go it's pointing that way but there are two ways oh well okay we can also go here Look how cool this this uh, this exhibit is integrated in the temple pieces. That looks super nice. Oh, that's really cool way of integrating it. I love how you did that with the temple pieces. Okay, so let's see because this. Oh wait, this is a staff area. There are some toilets. Is this like a dead end then or something? I'm not sure. Oh, this is a very beautiful habitat. Very nice and lush. <gasps> there are some otters here. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, let's go down here. Look how beautiful. I love the walls here in the back. Beautiful underwater viewing gallery. Look at all these branches here and, and the roots. That looks so good. Oh, and the temple pieces here. A very nice underwater viewing gallery. Again, like different from all the other other ones that we've seen. Oh gosh, that looks a bit weird. I love how lush it all looks and messy. You can tell that you really have your own style of doing that. And, and I really, really appreciate that. It looks really cool. I really don't know if this is the right way to go, but I just really want to see this habitat. It's so gorgeous. So is this going to that staff area? I think so. Oh, look at all the long grass and stuff. It works so well. It really does. A mud pool. Oh look, the sign is sending us to here. Perfect. The, the Riesen, Riesen Otter. Schon gewusst something. <laughs> I don't know what it says in the otter and then uh, something. <laughs> I love it. I love this with the with the glass roof as well. That looks so nice. Okay, so we went around the otter habitat, I think. Oh, there's a high viewing gallery even. 
the nice viewing inside of it. I like how you set this all up. Oh, we have a castle right here. I love this these rocks here. It feels so different from what? Are these your own rock? For, yeah. I I thought already that they look different from like the normal aquatic rocks. Man, I'm so inspired by these things because you can really create a different look with the these tiny rocks that I use super often, but I never thought of like making a floor texture with them. Gosh, that looks so good. Also, the rock formations right over here look really nice, by the way. Super beautiful. Oh man, this is so inspiring. I'm 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 learning so much. Like there are so many people that are like, yeah, I've been playing for a long while, but I just never am able to do this. And I'm like, you know, I'm play I played Planet Coaster over 2,000 hours, which has like the pretty much the same building mechanics as Planet Zoo. So over 2,000 hours in Planet Coaster. After that, now I played around more than 2,500 hours. I love the foliage work in Planet Zoo. And still, like, just, just look at my very first video of Planet Coaster on my channel. That was the very first wall I've ever built in 2016. And look where I am now. There has been so much progress. Oh man, I really love these walls as well. Like there has been so much progress along the way during all these years that I'm playing at like 2016. It's, it's now seven years later and still I feel like I can learn so much. I really love this viewing. I love the foliage work and how dense it is. But like seven years later and I'm still learning and I feel like every day I learn something new or, or a way of how to use pieces. I get better and, and I still I, I will, will improve constantly. So I am just like, just give it patience, just give it time and you will be able to do this as well. Just don't give up. I'm sure that everyone can do this and everyone can improve with whatever they do as long as you want to put in time in it. Like if you're like, yeah, but I don't want to spend five hours into, um, oh gosh, we need to go here. Yes, this is where we came from. If you don't want to spend five hours for one habitat or eight hours for one habitat, then yeah, well, okay, then maybe, maybe it's all right. But maybe then don't have too high expectations because I, I I truly believe that everyone that just sits down and relax, like it, I can really relax when building these these big habitats, even though sometimes it can be like really repetitive with uh, like a lot of rock work and stuff. But I really feel like the more time you put into builds, the more it's going to be worth it and the better it will will get in the end so yeah don't give up definitely don't give up there's so much so much fun and, and and enjoyment to complete these beautiful zoos and inspire other people man oh this is also such a great awning we've already been here though i wonder where we should go Okay, so the tour is going this way. We went around already. We went to that way. So I'm now going to follow this. Um, I have no... It, something with franchise. <laughs> don't know what that says. Oh, Jaguar House. Look how beautiful this looks. Like even these kind of centerpieces, middle piece sections. I learned so much from that. Because these are things that I have a hard time with uh, coming up with these ideas. Uh, do, where do we go? Inside? Okay, let's go inside. Wow, look at this. Oh, we need to release you. Unbox all animals. And now unpause. Look how cool this looks. The combination with like plaster and temple pieces looks amazing. Definitely really beautiful. 
But yeah, to everyone that sometimes feels like, oh, I'm really not able to do this, please don't give up. I really feel like if you want to achieve something and if you want to, to become better, you can do it. Just, just keep looking at others, keep learning, and at some point you will get better. But I also don't think there will be ever an end to it. I, th I think everyone, even the best builders out there, are still learning every day and, and keep getting better every day. Look how gorgeous this looks. Oh, wow. This is so lush. So beautiful with the waterfalls in the back. This is amazing. Really, really well done. Yeah, we can go around here. This is also where we came from. Oh, I have a hard time finding the way. This feels like just one little corner. This is the entrance. So maybe there is a way to go to the left right over here. But this is the Mandra house. What? Am I... What? I'm so confused. This is a Jagger house. Can we go through the Jagger house? No, we can't. Um, it's probably me. I probably missed out on a sign. I, I think we maybe just missed out the right path. Maybe just go through here. And this is no, this is the uh, the Pauenplatz. We call it, we call the uh, Indian pea fowl the uh, Pau. <laughs> so it all sounds the same. We can go here to the right side to a walk through something. Oh no, wait, we we are just going out of the Indian pea fowl walk through area. Oh, look at this. Look at these little cabins here for the uh, for the red panda. Oh, that's so cute. I also love the walls right over here. Oh, this looks so adorable. Oh, yeah, really nice. Really nice habitat. Okay, Rundwach. We, we found another sign that hopefully works. <laughs> Little panda, ha oh man, you guys all use these and I just keep forgetting to use them. I always keep forgetting that we have them. It looks so good. Really nice area, but look at this. The Polarium. Oh, that's a fantastic modern building. Wait, what? I love the shape of it. That's so interesting. And then like the glass entrance right over here. Oh, look how awesome this looks. Beautiful lighting coming through the roof. Oh, this is so cool. Wait, what? Oh my gosh, schon gewusst? I don't know what that means. Schon, schon gewusst. I know, I have no idea. Please tell me. It's a question, like, King Penguin? Mm-hmm. Or, or, like, did you know? Maybe something like that. Like, did you know? Because there is, like, this, this light bulb in the back. Could be something like that. <gasps> oh, we have an underwater tunnel. Don't go too high. If you're wondering how to make an underwater tunnel, I have a tutorial on the channel that still should be working. Some people sometimes say it doesn't, but then um, you probably need to try again because it does and it can really give a really cool viewing but the only downside is it is a little bit bugged so yeah <laughs> you should be low enough best time to visit at night until the exit okay wait we can change this oh that's cool that looks really cool. I like this. That is so awesome. Let's look at it from the other side as well. Yeah, this is really cool. Oh, look, it's all... Oh, wow. 
Oh, this is so gorgeous. I love the roof here. It's breathtaking. That's amazing. I wonder what kind of light you did use. The solar garden lights. And then is it like a special color? The light color is blue. Oh, wow. This is so inspiring. So gorgeous. Look, we even have like a little museum part. Oh, that's so cool. Wow, this is really, really beautiful. And this is like... Oh, look, a little Arctic Fox area. Oh, that's so beautiful. That's a really cool area. I like this, but I also am really impressed by all the lighting and stuff. It looks gorgeous. Okay, but we're outside now, so I'm just going to make sure that we are back at some daylight. Hopefully, if you have like indoor buildings that you're going to warn us again, that we should turn like like make it nighttime again. Outdoor area for the Arctic folks. Oh, this is so beautiful. I love the rock work here. That is so good. It really is. Also, the backside here looks really good. The fencing right over here. I really like this area. Oh, I'm going to pause the game again. And then right over here we have reindeers. Oh, look at all these presents here. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, that's gorgeous. I thought maybe you had like a secret Christmas habitat or something prepared. But this is actually just a very beautiful foresty habitat. Love the feeder here. This is one, one of those that you did download, if I'm correct. I think these signs are also downloaded. This is so beautiful. I love like the river that is going through here and, and right over here. Little, uh, little fountaining thingy. Really nice. Also, these things around the tree, by the way. Make sure that the reindeers will not ruin it. So now the question is... Wow. Okay, that is the red panda. So I guess we should go to here. And hopefully we will find another tour sign. What do we have right over here? Oh gosh, you see? Now I don't know. Maybe this is a dead end or something like that. That could be. Okay, where shall we? Well, this is this is definitely a dead end. So we just came through. I like this, by the way. I like this little walk through and the walls right over here with the wood around it. That looks really nice. But what kind of habitat do we have? Oh, the Eurasian Lynx is this, probably. I, I think so. Look at this little bridge right over here. Oh, I love that. Oh, this looks really beautiful. I also really like how you use like a little bit of this path texture right over here to... Oh, oh, hello. Two. <laughs> but to have like this extra different type of texture on the floor, really do like this. And also good to mention, like, at least you did mention on the Steam Workshop page that you did not use any mods. So everything that you see, I love this, this planter as well, how you fill that up. So everything you see is built without any mods. But I, I guess we're not that many people use mods. We have a few people that are also content creators that do use like the free built mod or something like that. But Many people don't use mods, as far as I can tell. I don't know. Uh, there's a lookout. Shall we just go to the lookout first and then follow the, the, the tour again? I don't know what, like, what kind of lookout this is. <gasps> the rat fox. No, this is not the rat fox. This is a doll. The rat hund? Is that a rat hund? Look at this. Oh, I love this. I love these, these beams right over here. That looks so good. But this is not an outpost or anything. 
But what a beautiful habitat. Looks really gorgeous. Very nice. But I, I really wonder what you mean. Staff, staff. There's another path right over here. Oh gosh, I feel like we are lost very soon. Look at all this beautiful grass right over here. It looks so good and so natural. Really like it. All these paths are leading to a different area constantly. It's like, oh, I'm just... I just get lost so quickly. Even though you have signs. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I might be just doing something wrong. We have a... A bear thing. Wait, we came from here. I'm just going to follow the signs because I don't know. The lookout is that way. I'm just going to find the tour path just to make sure that we're not going to miss out on too many things. Okay, so we have a bear valley, bear barn follow something. <laughs> the grizz, gr grizzly bar. Gr gr I don't know how to say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this so much. I really like how you do these floor and textures. Is this again with... Yes, it is. Oh, wow. This must have taken so much work to use all these small little aquatic rocks. But it is so worth it as well. Also love the, the walls right over here. Really looking good, these textures. Wow, that is really impressive. Look at all the grass and foliage. It looks so gorgeous and so natural. Oh, look at that little one. Absolutely amazing work. Yeah, so there it is. Oh, there's an information stand right over here. There is a beaver on this side. Look at this. Oh, that's so cute. Love the little low fence right over here. It's not a beaver. It's the North... Jeez, <laughs> lady. The, uh, the North American prairie dog. Or what was it? <laughs> Something prairie dog. Let me check. Black-tailed prairie dog. Jeez, lady. It's been so long. I've only built one habitat for them still. Oh, look at this. I definitely need to change that. I definitely need to add these little ones more often in my zoos. They're so adorable and so tiny. Absolutely such a beautiful habitat here. Love the walls. Schon gewusst. Yeah, I, I think it's like... Prairie hund, schon gewusst, something like, did you know? I like that. I really like that. I also like how you filled up this area right over here next to the path. Okay, we've been there. What do we have here? A little uh, toilets. Oh, we have another viewing here in the grizzly bear habitat. It's so gorgeous. Okay, I think I just want to wanna go here. And follow this beautiful path. Oh, look. These are the reward statues. Look at the beautiful rock work on this side. This is such a beautiful little park. Or like a little, uh, little garden area. Really gorgeous. I love all the flowers and the rocks here. You really made a, did a really nice job on this little garden area. Really like it. It's very inspiring. So what do we have? Okay, this is a dead end for staff. The alpine on my ibex? Before I say something weird again? Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, this is looking so good. Look at all these rock formations in the back as well. Really nice area. Also like the uh, this viewing gallery here with like the beams and stuff. Looks so good. Very beautiful area. So, okay, we, we came from here, I think. 
And now we just follow the path down. I love the different height elevations in this zoo as well. You did such a great job on that. Nice rock work and foliage work here as well. I don't know what kind of animal. Oh, we have some European badgers in here. I like this habitat and also the different height elevations inside of here. Also, like, notice the logs here in the back as walls. I love that. You have a little shelter building. Right, you did also... Oh, good. There's a tour. You did also mention, like, you also did make this zoo with the eye of, like, if it's becoming too cold, all the animals need to have some type of shelter. So the, they are always able to go inside if they want to. So he did also pay attention to that. I like that. The Timber Wolf. Look at this beautiful habitat. Nice river going through it. This is lovely. Oh gosh, they're going to sing. <gasps> How long will they continue? That's the question. Oh, was that it? Oh no. You are singing still. I don't know. It's it's still very cool. <laughs> oh, are you going to sing? It's so awesome. But the last time we saw this in, in one of the community zoo tours as well, I, if you have seen that zoo, definitely do let me know. But I got crazy at some point of all the noise that they were making. It was insane. Uh, that Sibir is a tig t tiger? Tiger? I don't know how you say that. Maybe just tiger. Something. Oh, look how beautiful. Oh, I love this. It's so open and light and a cool shape. And then you can look inside to Siberian tiger habitat. Oh, wait. There are like a lot of boxes right over here. <laughs> Oopsie. Love the rock work here and like the green and the foliage work. All looks very beautiful and natural. Absolutely beautiful work. The rock work. Everything, everything is just perfect. I can't imagine you must be so proud of this zoo. Okay, tiger indoor. That was... Oh, wait. There is another... Oh. Oh, that's so cool. Little indoor area. To keep warm. Oh, this is a really nice area. I like how spacious it is. And that you try to theme it still with a little bit of rocks and, and like these snow patches and stuff. I really like how you set this all up. Also nice for the guests. Like if it's super cold, they can uh, they can uh, warm up a little bit at the indoor building. So that works super well. Do we have a pangolin habitat here or is that just... Oh, wait, no, huh? Goodness. Did, did did we did we see everything? I I have my doubts to be honest. But this is a grizzly bear habitat. What was this again? Is this the wolf habitat? No, this is the alpine ibex. Did we actually see the whole zoo? And I'm just like <laughs> caught by surprise if that is the case. This feels like an area we have not seen yet, though. Am I correct? Okay, wait. We need to find the entrance. Let me find that. So here we have the Indian P file. We went to the right side. I feel like we already went here to the left side, but we did not go here. And, oh. Oh, look at these beautiful exhibits. I think, like... We did not see half of the zoo still. This is the other side of the wa no, the red kangaroo habitat. 
which also looks super nice. I love like more of the dry grass that is being used here. Also like these little poles here as decorations. This looks really beautiful. I like the Australian vibe to the habitat as well. And then right over here, the uh, there is another platform to see the rat kangaroos. Oh, oh, I like that idea. These little poles right over here to make sure that they're not getting too close. Oh, that works so well. I actually never use these, but that is actually such a great way of using these little poles. And then on the other side, there's a koala house. Let's see. Go. <laughs> I'm not going to say it again. Oh, wow. I love how you use all the materials right over here. Like the, the, the planks sticking out a little bit. Glass. Glass wall. And then you have wood like this. Wood like that. Oh, I love how this is all set up. That looks really nice. And it really makes it super interesting. Like the planter in front of it. And then the habitat itself looks super interesting. Really love the climbing frames here. And the color especially of the climbing frames. It matches super well with like the, the, the Australian environment that you try to create for these guys. Oh wow, this is very impressing. Impre impressive. Super inspiring. And it goes all the way to here to the back. Look at the backside here as well. That is very nice. Really good work. Okay, and also the flooring, by the way. Also looks really good. I'm just going to follow here. See, and now <laughs> now there it's a tour sign again. Oh my goodness. Okay, wait, this is a stall. Oh, what is this for? The Russian shrine. <gasps> This is a, this is a warthog. Oh, I love this. I love these little, little rooms right over here. Oh, that's so cool. That is so interesting. So the little, oh, this is a little backstage area. That's also looking really nice. So that's for here, from here. Oh, I love this. That is so neat. I love how this has like this a little bit more older, older vibe and stables vibe together. It looks really nice. I love the fencing here around here. This is a really cool habitat for the warthogs. I really like it. And it, again, it's like a little bit messy as well. You did such a good job on that. Oh, look, we have the uh, Red Crown Crane here. Oh, this is also super beautiful. I love the green here with the water. Like this little shelter building for them. This is so beautiful. Hi, gorgeous. These birds are so gorgeous. Okay, so this is a staff building. Can we get up there? No, I think it's only for the... Red Crown Crane, isn't it? Look how gorgeous. Picture perfect. It's so natural. It's such a beautiful habitat. For these birds. That looks amazing. Are we not missing out on anything if we just follow the edge? What is this? What is this? What do we have here? the bonobo look at this how cool again there are like things in here i would never think of that just to add fruit in here oh man it would be so cool if they would be able to use that but like the pallets and stuff i really also like the structures here and how they are being held here with some some concrete pieces Oh man, this is so smart. There are so many new things in here. Absolutely love it. Okay, I'm going to follow. Oh, I don't know. I feel like if we follow this path, we go back. Beautiful bridge. 
We probably do. What is this on this side? What is this? Have we seen this? I'm not sure. I don't don't think so. I can't tell what habitat is for. It looks super beautiful. If we walk here. Oh man, I'm so lost in a zoo. There is a hippo statue. This is the bridge. Where do we go? Oh, these are ducks in the water. And then here on the right side, what is this? Ooh, it's hard to tell. You're not using too many of the in-game signs, so sometimes it's really guessing. <gasps> oh, this is a rare fox habitat. Oh, don't don't fast forward, lady. Oh wow. Also really like like how green and lush it all is. That looks so beautiful. And then... Oh, look at that little house right over here. A little building. The white is so beautiful in this environment. I think it's a follow deer. Right over here. Look. That works so well with this little building. A little moss on top of it and some old decals. A feeder in front of it. Like a gate right over here that is halfly broken. That looks so cool. As if this is like a little old shed from the house. And they start to use it. I love, love the fruit in there. Oh man, it's so beautiful. It's so inspiring. All the wooden fences and stuff. It's so good. I'm sure that we have not seen most of it on this side oh gosh it's gonna be such a crime at the end to make sure that we not miss out on any any animals look kane a tortoise <laughs> i decided from now on i always going to to mention you kane when there is a tortoise just because i know you love the tortoise and i know you're always commenting about it <laughs> <laughs> we both love it. Okay, so we just go back. Look, look how beautiful climbing frame again here. Also, I love this, these, these fence things to make sure they're not climbing up there. But what is it? Gosh, this looks so good. I think it's chimpanzees. I love how you use the... Oh, they're actually moving. These uh, these branches from the Twilight Pack. Oh, I didn't know they move so much. It's a bit odd, isn't it? I guess, uh, I guess the Frontier wanted to give them a little bit of a spooky vibe. But man, oh, the rock work and stuff. Everything looks so good in here. We can go around it, but we can also... Oh, no. This is where we just came from, wasn't it? Yes. Okay. The tortoise house. And then... The bonobos. Oh, this is... Oh, is that maybe the bonobo outdoor area? It could be. Wait, what? Are we, are we lost again? <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. Oof. Sometimes it's really hard. Like, the best thing to do, I think, the easiest way is just to have paws all the way around the zoo. Oh, Cappy. To make sure that people will not miss out on anything. For a tour, that's just the best thing to do, I think. Look at this beautiful habitat as well. Love these things around the trees again. How green and lush it is. The shelter building looks so good. And you have a round viewing gallery right away over here. We're all pretty shy Okapi, so the Okapi would definitely appreciate it. However, I think one-sided glass would work a little bit better for that. So, the tour says that way. But we have not seen so much on this side. 
Oh no, how hard is this? Okay, I think we're gonna go from the warthogs to this this way. I think then we end up at an area that we have not seen yet. I hope. <laughs> it's also hard to remember if you can't really tell what kind of animals, but this is a bungo habitat. Just look how gorgeous this looks. It's so natural. I also really do like the, the fences right over here. The more lighter, lighter fences. It looks really nice. And then on the other side, there's a Komodo dragon building. And here's a seating area. So we're just going to go inside of here. The Pulau Komodo, Komodo Island. Look how awesome. Thanks to Ricey. Aww. <laughs> Look how beautiful this looks. Oh, this is awesome. And again, like the, the little bit of clutter and stuff to make it look a little bit messy. Oh, we have a Komodo dragon right over here. That looks really cool. And I also like how low the ceiling is. Feels pretty, really, pretty realistic to me. The wooden beams, the combination with wood and the dark wood on the floor. I like this. I like this a lot. Little temple pieces. Oh, this is a really cool Komodo dragon area. Really like that. And then also notice like these details here to make the walls look more interesting on the outside. Uh, the South American house. We have so oh look, <laughs> some taper statues. There's an outdoor area with the capybara and a tapir. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, that's so adorable. Okay, so we go inside here. Awesome. Some flowers and stuff. Exhibit right over here. There's there's a butterfly here. Does that mean that you have like a butterfly house or something like that? Here's another one. Like this says you cannot enter. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, don't go there. Oh, look. Oh, this is a really cool indoor area. I love that you use these. What? 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 What are you laying on? What? <laughs> Wait, huh? It's, it, it almost looks like the copy bar is just burning or something, but there is just a little water stream and some mist underneath it or something. I don't know what it is. It's so odd. I love how you did the walls right uh, around here, by the way. Also, like this, these, these decals and the floor and stuff. This is a really nice area. Also, the bamboo here. I said, oh, that's a good idea to use bamboo. It is bamboo, isn't it? What is that? South American wood panel. What? I don't think I've ever used these. A South American wood panel. South American wood. Oh. Oh my goodness, I've never ever used them before, but that is so clever. How could I forget about these? South America. I barely did much with the South America. With those pieces, like the bamboo pieces I use. But this is such a cool area. So many great ideas. I love how you have like this this edge of, of stone, I think temple, temple pieces. Oh, this is so good. Little shelter, shelter, shelter canopies also look really nice. Oh, this is so beautiful. Okay, so what do we have here? Because I feel like every time I follow the signs, I am not going the right way. We have a hyena plateau and the hyena something again. Look at this rock work. That looks so cool. Oh, hi. We actually see one. 
little cutie. Going to sleep. Oh man, I love this area. Okay, so we've been there. So now we go to the Hyena Plateau. Oh look, this is just a big round plateau. So you can actually look around in their habitat. That looks so nice. Really cool way of adding a viewing gallery in the middle of the habitat. Okay, we're just going to follow this. Ooh, are we going to look first here? Or does this mean that we will get back here? Because that is always why I'm worried. Uh, oh, there is something here in the middle as well. Oh, there are toilets. Okay, I, I think we just follow this path. Oh, this is where we were just walking and I was like, wait, did we see this? Was that this area? I'm not sure. There, It feels different because there is more water here. There's also a path on the other side. I can't tell. Oh, this is also hyena habitat. On the other side, probably. That oh, looks so nice. And then we have a little... Coffin buffalo. The water buffalo. Oh, look. Look how awesome this building looks. That is beautiful. And then it's such a beautiful viewing gallery in the water buffalo habitat. I like how you use this with the uh, bigger logs right over here. Looks so beautiful as well. Love the shelter building here in the back. And then if we go back right over here, okay, that leads to staff. This is a dead end, so now we can go back and follow the tour sign, which is... Oh! <laughs> then maybe over here? Wait, this was a dead end! This is a dead end. Okay, see, it's not me! <laughs> Just so confused. Okay, toilets. Go here. What do we have here? Uh, oh, giant anteater habitat. Look at this. Cool viewing gallery again with totally different materials, different shape and stuff. Really like it. Like, like it all looks different, all the viewing galleries. I love that. Oh, what is that? Uh, ja uh, jaguar or something? Jepard? I don't know what that is. A cheetah. Oh. Yeah, we already seen a jaguar. Oh, look how cool. Oh, this one had. Oh, this one's playing with it. I just love the sound so much of the cheetahs. The rock work and stuff looks so beautiful in here as well. But yet, this habitat looks a lot more plain, which is totally normal for for like a cheetah habitat like they just want to run more open and plain areas so you did a really great job of detailing this one it's so beautiful it really is and i like how you use all these archways to create these viewing galleries right over here yes it's just cool wait is that like look at this fountain oh that's awesome yeah, that is so beautiful. Okay, so we just gonna follow the path right over here. That stuff, beautiful planter here with a tree around it. Oh, what do we have there? Oh, look at this statue. That's so cool. The Indian rhino. Oh, they even have like this, this little staircase here to go down. Oh, this is so beautiful. Oh, I love the building here in the back as well. That looks so good. Also with the different materials, like the concrete and like the wood and the, the warmer wood color. It's a very nice combination of different materials as well as here. And it works so well. It fits so well nicely together. Really nice work. 
and then we have a little restaurant on this side so shall we go inside here a cayman house look how awesome this looks also with the green hair on the roof and the beams oh that is so cool some toilets on that side oh wow this is so impressive Definitely a nice tropical vibe to it. And then we have this underwater viewing gallery. I like all these roots and stuff. Uh, where are they from? Oh, it's the other side of the tree. The mangrove tree. That is just so smart. Why did I never think of that? <laughs> like, seriously. Oh, man, this looks so good. It really adds like this extra touch of detail in this underwater viewing. I really love it. And then you have a viewing from the top. Look at all this beautiful foliage work and rock work and stuff. It looks so good. It really does. Fantastic job on this, uh, this Cayman house. Okay, so let's go around here. Look at all these, these filler up areas. Really admire that. Like you really, uh, really do a good job on that. Okay, we did see a copy. What was here? Look at all these, these branches and logs. <laughs> oh my goodness, you're kidding. Oh, this is looking so good. Oh, wait, is this at Monkey Island? Oh, I think we went around now. Unless, well, we probably did miss out on some, some things. This is the Okapi habitat. All right, let me just try and see if we missed out on anything. So yeah, we have the Okapi habitat right over here. So if we then follow this path right over here, we do end up at a whole different area of the zoo. So right over here, there's something indoors. Is this like a, a bat exhibit or something? Oh no, it's a badger. Uh, the, 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 what? The skunk. <laughs> it's not a badger, it's a skunk. I love this little, little, little tower thingy. That's so cute. Oh, it really gives a little bit of a of a fairy tale vibe to the habitat. That is really nice. I also love the shape of the of the building right over here. How you did that? That looks really good. And then the dumb hirsch. Uh a dumb uh, a dumb hair. <laughs> That's a Dutch name for it. But the follow deer, European follow deer, is dehydrated, not doing super well. But this is oh yes, this is where we just just were okay but pause so now we just continue am i going the right way yes we have an elephant park look how awesome this looks with the sign and then we go up here and then that we're gonna follow that one so we're first going to check this nice big viewing gallery with some uh, some picnic benches and stuff look at this how awesome a little staircase here for them to go into the water enrichment item on that side. Oh wow, this is so so beautiful. It's huge. They must have loved this habitat so much. Love the fencing here on the side, by the way. Those look really good. So now we just follow this because there there's also a viewing gallery right over here for the follow deers so beautiful from here as well with that little house that house really gives an extra touch to that habitat i love that okay what do we have here this is the outdoor section for the elephants just look how realistic this all looks with these big fences oh <laughs> that's so cute that little elephant playing with the ball and what, what do we have here? A oh, little artwork habitat. Oh, we can't go in, but we will go in because it looks so cool. I love this little backstage area. Also this. 
Oh, that's so nice. Can they actually fit through there? That's so amazing if they can. Little food area, some warm lamp lamps or, or heaters. And then they have a... Oh, wow. Oh, I love this art for outdoor section. That looks really good. I love the rockwork and foliage work in here. But also like these, these little gates here. Oh, this is so creative. It's so inspiring how you decorated this. Like all these, these roots and stuff. Oh, it looks so good. And then you can also have a look from here, from the top. Oh, this is probably one of the most inspiring art park habitats I've ever seen. It's so big as well, by the way. It really looks super good. Absolutely love this one. Just, just all the clutter and little mess. Another viewing here into the elephant habitat. What do we have here? The fennec fox. Different side here of the of the art park habitat. And look at this. Oh man, these twilight branches. Apart from them moving and wiggling a little bit weird. They do really well for these habitats, but also just the combination of, of different type of materials, how you use that. Oh man, it really is super inspiring. A little plate here, little thingy right over there. Just looks so good. Different height elevations with the rock work. Really great work. Okay, so we can go into... Oh, look at that! There's even a little tent in the habitat! Isn't that awesome? Okay, let's go into the elephant house. Toilets? Oh, wow. Oh, that is so cool. Look at this! Indoor area. I love the rock work here. Like all these gates and stuff to go to the backstage area. It's so spacious. And I love the lighting coming through, through the windows. This is so beautiful. What a great elephant house this is. Really amazing. This looks so good. What is on the other side? We have some exhibits. And this is a bat's cave. Look at this. Or like, yeah, it, it's kind of a bat's cave. But the guests can actually also walk walk in here. Best time to visit as, at night until the exits. Okay, then we're going to change it. Bloop. Thank you for these signs. Oh, wow. Oh, this is such a difference. Oh, look, that's so cool. So we go through here. Oh, this is definitely a really good vibe in this bat's cave. Oh, uh, how much I wish there was more control over over lighting. Like you go indoors, then it really is indoors, and then light works right away instead of like changing the times. But it is what it is, I guess. Oh, this is a really... Oh, look. Even, like, this little sign. No flash. What? Oh, my goodness. Who made that? That's so cool. Even though... Oh, the whole zoo definitely does look super amazing. Uh, like, at nighttime. But I, I just... Like, you can tell how long this video already is. I, I just can't do both. And light is just giving us the best best view oh this is such a cool indoor area look at these it's giving us the best view in everything that is made but i, I totally get why some people are like yeah can you do it also at night time but <laughs> feel free to download this zoo and also do not forget to uh to leave that thumbs up at the steam workshop page for this appreciation of this super hard work this incredible Incredible hard work. 
because it really is and it really deserves it it's it's so amazing look how beautiful this all looks this is a giraffe house isn't it a gir or a giraffe habitat look at them right over here it looks so cool really beautiful with all the details in the middle but yeah also like a plain areas where they can easily walk with their super long legs makes total sense beautiful statues here and planters in the middle love the fencing right over here as well that looks so nice we even have a giraffe house we do have a giraffe house look how cool this entrance looks with glass so you're dry and then come in come in big viewing really up close to the giraffes look at this awesome feeder right over here man i so much wish we had these realistic feeders they look so amazing yeah we have like these i don't know they're all right i guess especially for the giraffe they're okay but these kind of feeders are just so much better. I oh, love this. Little edu education area. A little glimpse into backstage areas. Yes, that's so cool. What is this? A wildebeest zebra. This looks so beautiful as well. This is a really cool area. Look at them so up close. Some cool feeders here as well. Oh, look at these cuties. Oh, what a beautiful building. A beautiful viewing in their habitat here. But you can also see them from the outside. If we get out of this building and go to the left more, we can see that. Look at this. Little area again where Oh, the armadillo is here. Hello. <laughs> Wobbling your your butt. Aw, the armadillos are cute. Are you going to do any animations together? Some cuddling or something? No. Doesn't look like it. They cuddle so cute. The armadillos are really adorable. So let's see. Is this like the other side of the fennec fox habitat? Or is this a meerkat habitat? Could be. Wait, what are you? Are you little meerkats? You are little meerkats. I really love how you decorated the habitat. With like all these round shapes and stuff. And then logs here and there. And like plant pots and stuff. Or like this archway. It's it's all different. It's different from, from the standard what many of us do. I really like that. I really can appreciate that. Nice indoor area. You really, really did create your own style of how to decorate the habitats. Really like that. This is the the follow deer, right? Yes. That's the follow deer. Did we already see this habitat? Oh uh, yeah. Oh, this is the zebra habitat from the other side. Also looks really nice. And now if we just follow this path, where do we end up? I wonder. Ah, little playground. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's really nice. Really wish we had some functional playgrounds in the game right over here. That would be just so amazing. And then you have the zebras on that side. But where is this going to? Another viewing gallery? Ooh! Oh, hello! <laughs> Sorry! Did not see you! Gosh, you're so up close. Like, so up close. It's totally something for me to miss out on you. <laughs> where are all the animals? Where are all the animals? Oh, oh, there you are! <laughs> so silly. It happened to me once, being in one zoo, and being, and I saw a rhino habitat. I think it was a rhino habitat. 
And I was looking into the house and I was like, where are all the rhinos? And then people were pointing like, uh, there, right in front of you. And I was like, those are a pile of rocks. <laughs> it's just rhinos laying there. And I thought they were a pile of rocks. It was so silly. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, this is so beautiful. Rat fox habitat. I, I think we have seen all the habitats by now. So yeah, this indeed does look like everything from the zoo. And I do apologize if I did miss out on anything. And as I said, like you can find the file in the description of this video if you want to check it out yourself, especially also during nighttime. But uh, I'm really happy that the game or or like my whole computer did not crash. I had no idea what that was. Maybe it was just a coincidence or something like that. But yeah, definitely really did enjoy this Natur Zoo style mod made by Langsy. Thank you so, so much, Langsy, for sharing your suit to us. It was really a lot of fun and super inspiring. You definitely have your own way of decorating your habitats and like indoor exhibits and, and like the buildings and stuff. You really did a great job. You really gave me so many ideas of things I can use in my own zoo. So thank you so much for that. Really do appreciate it. And congratulations with this beautiful finish shoe. And for everyone out there, please go to that steam workshop page and leave that thumbs up right over there and leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and leave something nice for langsy in the comments down below subscribe of course if you haven't already and yeah i just really do hope to see you guys all in the next one thank you guys so much for watching bye guys